Do you believe in guardian angels? One man from Bountiful certainly does, thanks to one fateful day during World War II. Alden Rigby was drafted in June of 1943 and became a fighter pilot. Little did he know, a year and a half later, he'd need plenty of heavenly help. It was New Year's Day, 1945. American fighter pilot, First Lieutenant Alden Rigby, sat in his P-51 Mustang, unaware he was about to be in the fight of his life. Billed as the most devastating air ground attack in the history of World War II. The attack was called the Legend of Y-29, named after the airstrip where Rigby's squadron was located in Belgium. On that morning, the Germans made a surprise attack. 60 German planes, the Americans had 12. Rigby's P-52nd fighter group had to get in the air immediately. And as I reach down to pull the lever to lift the gear, there's a Focke Wolf 190, big as life on the tail of this guy over here. Barely 300 feet above ground, Rigby hits his first target. There's about 32 hits from the tail up through the cockpit, and it goes in. Did you know what you were in for? No. I'm a great believer in kindred spirits and guardian angels. No question about it. After hitting his first target, Rigby's gun sight went out. After hit number two, he realized he had little ammunition left. If that weren't enough, they were being shot at from the ground by their own troops. They're shooting at everything. They can't identify what's what. Rigby quickly identified another German aircraft, which was hot on the tail of a comrade in serious trouble. Rigby got right behind the enemy and shot him down. Then came hit number four against one of the best German pilots the Americans had encountered. And the last of my ammunition shatters the cockpit. And that's really the end of the fight. The Americans shot down 24 German aircraft, four of those by Rigby. The U.S. did not lose a single man. I'm not that good that I can do things on my own that way. There's all kinds of help from above. This is the first one I shot down right there. Now 88 years old, Alden remembers the war like it was yesterday. This heroic fighter pilot from Utah flew 76 combat missions over Europe. Rigby became an ace and was awarded the Silver Star for his heroic actions. But he never forgot his men. Since the war, Rigby has done the temple work for nearly 100 members of his fighter group who lost their lives in the war. And this would be the only time I've been able to do temple work for those that I actually knew as physical mortal beings in this life. Mortal beings he fought with, men who all sacrificed their lives, a sacrifice that allowed Americans to hold on to the freedoms we now enjoy. Rigby went on to serve three years in the Korean War, 25 years in the Utah National Guard, as well as 25 years with the FAA. In 2007, he was inducted into Utah's Aviation Hall of Fame. Alden is currently a sealer in the Bountiful Temple. He and his wife, Aline, have served two missions and are the parents of four children, 25 grandchildren, and 50 great-grandchildren. And now we highlight some of our missionaries serving around the world. If you'd like to share a picture of a missionary you know, send it to mormontimes at ksl.com. We'll be right back. Live like you know, it's one sure way, your faith will grow. Listen to your heart, search in your soul, and you'll find the strength that you need. of his peace when you live like you 